Ross, Phoebe. Good morning from Vietnam. Lychee, hello. How's everyone doing today? Hope everybody's well, staying safe, staying healthy, isolating, <laughs> staying two meters, staying two meters from other people, not going out in more than groups of three. It's important stuff, you guys. It's important times we're living in. Pixie, hello, Felipe. Thank you for joining. Thank you, thank you. I woke up at like four o'clock in the morning today, just beaming with energy. I was like, I gotta do something. So I did some breath work, I did some massage, and some yoga. Haven't done any exercise yet today. Probably do that after my juice. Just got f back from the market and got my juice made. Ooh, this one's a doozy, you guys. This one's a doozy. How long will you continue the juice fast? Until my body tells me otherwise. Wow. So this is, um, yeah, there's a lot of things in here. We got beet, we got grapes, we got rose apple, we got ginger, turmeric. Bok choy. And um, go to cola, also called pennywort or santella. It's like a super super herb, something. Very abundant here in Vietnam and makes amazing juice with like a subtle sweetness but very earthy but not too not too bitter you know like <clears throat> like a lot of the healing herbs are very bitter have i heard of wim hof yes i used to be really into the wim hof uh breathing and the cold showers and stuff which are powerful but the more i got into breath work I realized that Wim Hof's methods are a bit forced and it's not really about how many breaths you take more as um, you know it's like it's like the the turtle versus the hare you know he wants you know quick results um, but it's the slow relaxed diaphragmatic breathing that's what we really need I don't really agree with Wim Hof on a lot of things but cold showers are amazing um, but I like to do contrast showers. I've been doing them, you know, for the past year. And you do the water as hot as you can, and then you do the water as cold as you can for like a few minutes. It does wonders for your lymph system because the, the blood vessels open up and then the blood vessels close. So it, it's great for your skin. Amazing. Yeah, if you're another thing, if you're in a cold climate, like Wim Hof does cold, he lives in, in the ice pretty much, you know. He needs hot showers more than anything, not cold showers. You gotta balance the yin and the yang. If you guys are asking my location, it's still in my Instagram bio been in there for three years how many ounces well there's 32 ounces to a quart and I have about a gallon a day so four times 32 four to five quarts a day what countries would you like to travel to good question let's see I really want to go to Mexico my friends Fit Shorty are there and they're posting like black sapote, mammy sapote, amazing mangoes and 
avocados, of course. Um, so Mexico, Latin America, Central America is on my list. Want to go there really bad. Um, even Africa, really want to go to Africa. My friend um, actually cycled through a lot of Africa, I believe the South. And um, I want to go to Laos, um, Myanmar, Taiwan, um, South Korea, Europe, even Spain. Spain is big on my list. Um, they have a lot of good fruits there. I want to go there for fig season. I've never had a fresh fig off the tree, and people tell me that's like orgasmic. So, want to go to Spain or somewhere where they have figs? Uh, Greece, actually, I would really love to go to Greece. Um, let's see, where else? I know I've already been to Indonesia, but Indonesia is really big, so I want to go to Java. That's next on my list, which is a, a big one of the bigger islands in Indonesia. I want to explore there. Supposedly a lot of amazing durian there. And um, Champadak, they grow Champadak as well, which is one of my favorite fruits. Um, what other countries? Oh, Australia. I still haven't been to Australia. Really want to go there. I will go there. Definitely. Um, Cambodia. Haven't been to Cambodia. Italy. I'd love to come to Italy too. Uh, Eusebio. Thank you for that. Shower, hot, hot steam, then boom, cold, cold, cold. That wakes you up. Yeah, it definitely does. I love doing that in the morning. Even, even at night too. It's fun. Let's get this bread, Fern. Thank you, bro. Miguel, hello. So yeah, let's see. What other country? You know, I don't really want to go to the cold places, to be honest. They don't really have the best fruits. Um, I am a fruitarian, so I prioritize that before anything else. Um, you know, I wouldn't not go to those places, like but I would just prioritize the tropics first. And um, I believe that our species would thrive best in a tropical environment rather than a subtropical or a cold environment. Laos, yeah, I said Laos. Um, Timor East, yes, yes, Timor East. I wanna go through all of Indonesia. I love Indonesia so much. I wanna explore more of Kalimantan. Um, Flores, I heard was beautiful. I still haven't been to um, Lombok or the Gili Islands. Not much fruit there though on the Gillies. It's coconuts and stuff. Lombok has some. Um, the Bandus Islands, Maluku's, um, Papua New Guinea. I'd love to go to Papua New Guinea. Brunei, yes. Thank you, Eusebio. Brunei, yeah, I forgot about that. Borneo is amazing. So. Borneo is like my favorite place in the world because they have the most high vibrational, wild, ancient fruits. So I want to spend like a lot of time in Borneo. Whenever it's the season there, I want to go there, eat Dubai, eat Champadak, Relinia, eat durian, the wild jungle durians. The jungle fruits are super rare. You can't get anywhere else. Red Salak, red snake fruit. Oh my God, it's so good high vibe stuff like and that'll detox you so fast like even people think like fatty fruits like don't detox you but go to Borneo and tell me that because you eat the ancient durians you eat the Dubai um, they have a fruit there called Ankala which is like a jungle avocado and tell me that doesn't detox you it tastes like milk like milky avocado it's like sweet man like Nature is so wonderful, and we just like destroy the rainforest with palm oil plantations. Yeah, Latin America, Costa Rica, big on my list. Um, I have some friends that are there now, actually, and I guess they're the police are getting pretty serious about like um, people who don't have the proper visas because a lot of 
foreigners will go to Costa Rica because they're pretty lenient on the visa laws and they'll be like, oh yeah, I'll just stay here. I live here. I live in Costa Rica. It's like, well, you're, you're illegally living there pretty much. So, yeah, I don't know about all that. I'm not trying to be an illegal immigrant, get deported, get blacklisted. You don't want that. You know, do it, do it, do it the right way. Yeah, I'd love to meet up with you, Pixie. We'll meet up Costa Rica somewhere. It'd be great. Have a coconut. <laughs> Divine human, hello. So good. Perfect, sweet, salty, savory balance. I do these lives so it helps me sip slower so I can talk to you guys. <laughs> because if I down that whole thing, my kidneys are going to be like, ah, why? Swim in the rivers with the coconut. Yeah, let's do it. I love river swims. Like, honestly, the beach is cool, but I love fresh water. Like, get in the river, the waterfall, natural springs, hot springs. Oh my God. That's what it's all about. I'm not a big fan of like sand all over my body. Like, you know, in all my crevices, you, you'll find sand in your ear. Like, how did sand get in my ear? I was just walking on the beach, you know? It's like, it's funny. Some people like that kind of thing. No thanks, not for me. Man, that's really good. You can really taste the celery in there. I just put like a bunch of celery, but the local celery here is like very powerful, very strong. You know, it's small, it's like, you know, the normal celery, it's like that thick. You know, these ones are like, you know, thin, but they're packed, like fresh, you know? Like this, the celery we get here, like if you want the big celery, it comes from China. And it's good quality, you know, it's like dark green, but you know, it's old by the time it gets here. It's like, it's still, still pretty crisp, crunchy. Um, but yeah, you know, you wanna eat like the freshest as possible and like local. That's another thing, like I was using the apples for a long time, which are from Washington State, where I'm from in the US, because um, they're like famous for apples. And they're like, they're pretty expensive. But you know, when, you're, when, your, gut, when your gut microbiome, when you first move to a, to a country or to a new place, you wanna eat the local food so that your, your gut microbiome can get um, diversified to that climate. And um, yeah, so I, I, I found out about the rose apples like a couple days ago, or like yesterday actually, and they juice so amazing, like even a higher yield than the apples would, and you know, they're dirt cheap, and they're, they're mild, high yield on the, on the juices, like floral flavor, like it really is, it's like rose water and a mild apple, like so good for juicing, perfect base. Yeah, the sound of the rivers, I know. And like a lot of times you're on the beach and it's just, it's so windy. Like, you know, it's very loud. It is like a bit overwhelming at times, but it depends on, you know, the beach and the wind, <laughs> the wind chill factor. Yeah, man, I've had sand all over my yam bag. <laughs> Cucumber ginger is amazing. I love that juice. Yeah, rose apples are great. They have them all over Asia, like Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia. I think they're very like underrated. I don't see anybody eating them. Uh, in my travels, like I don't see anybody eating them. Makes such a great juice. KD, hello, Jacqueline Dolan. How long do you think you want to stay living in Asia? I don't know. I like to take it day by day. You know, my, um, 
I guess my preferences change pretty regularly. But, you know, like some days I want to do this thing, some days I want to do that thing. So I like to keep it open just so I'm not so um, like dialed in on something because then you can't change your mind. You know, I like to, you know, just go with the flow and then like, you know, if I want to leave Vietnam tomorrow and just like book a flight to Mexico or something, I'd be like, yeah, let's do it, you know, and I can do that. But, you know, I love Vietnam for now. So I'm going to stay here for a little bit. Love Asia. Um, durian is like my favorite fruit in the world. One of them, you know, in my top five. <laughs> and, you know, can't really get it anywhere else than Asia. I mean, you can get it, but, you know, it's endemic here. You know, it's, it's meant to be grown here. It's the highest quality here, you know, all that good stuff. Yeah, Jacqueline, I think you'd love it here. And your baby. Everyone's so nice here, so welcoming. It's not like in westernized places where everyone's just obsessed with work. They're like, work, 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 and they don't have time to do anything. They don't even sit out and like just chill. Like you'll see Asians just just chilling, man. They'll just be in a hammock, like in the middle of the street. <laughs> you know, they're just they don't give a shit, man. It's such a chill vibe. Relaxed. Cucumbers feel so good right now, so unbelievably refreshing. Doesn't just feel good physically, but mentally, like with all this heavy energy of the world these days, feels so needed, you know. Hell yes. Thank you, sister. Amen. Connecticut. <laughs> right on. To be honest, I'm not up on my geography. I'm from Washington State, so I think you're you're a bit far from me. Do you have any good fruits in Connecticut? <laughs> I know, no, I know, it's not called Connecticut. Just having some fun. I would love to go to Vietnam, but now with all the things going on, who knows what's going to happen? I will not get a. Bang, 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 <laughs> Katie. Yeah, yeah, no thanks. Um, yeah, Vietnam closes borders for now. But they're doing amazing. There's no deaths here. Less than like 400 cases, I believe. They're doing a really good job. They have a really good healthcare system here. And they're very serious about their health in Vietnam. And I watched this video by Mick the Vegan. And he was, say, he was saying that, like, looking at the correlation between where the virus hit and the, the weather and the humidity, and he said the virus, it's harder to spread. Like, it's not that it can't spread, but it's harder to spread in hot, humid environments because the, the droplet doesn't travel as far. It, like, it drops to the ground like someone, like, coughs or something. It, you know, it doesn't go as far. That's what I understood from his video, and it made a lot of sense. Like, if you look where it is, it's not really in the tropic, tropical regions. Like, here in South Vietnam, there's no cases. But if you look at North Vietnam, which is near China, of course, but it's colder there, there's more cases. And less humid up there. Panic buying, yeah, there's a lot of scarcity mindset going on, a lot of fear-based thinking. Declutter your mind, body, environment. Absolutely. Simplicity is the way. That's why I'm on the juices. Day 18. So delicious. A little bit left. I already had I already had a glass like this big earlier. So a little over a quart. 1.2 quarts for breakfast. Amazing day to start start the day. Drinking pure lemon juice. Ooh. That's my favorite. 
Kirtas Savid. That is savage indeed. <laughs> Lemon or lime juice or both? Gets me going. <laughs> Such a powerful lymphatic polar. I love it. Day 18. Thank you. I know my ego is like, well, you've done 45 days before. I guess you could do it again. But we'll see. I'm going to listen to my body. I'm not going to just go for it just because of the number. People are like, oh, you know, 100 days, 60 days. Blah, blah. I have a friend here on Instagram. She's on 141 days. The year of the juice. Look on Instagram. Absolutely inspiring. She has a debilitating uh, genetic condition where her feeding tube is outside of her body. Um, and I believe she got it, she got surgery to have that fixed recently, but she still has a lot of problems, you know, as so is to be expected. And, you know, the doctors say, oh, it's not, you know, it's not treatable, you can't get any better. And then she's like, Watch me. Juice fast. You know what I'm saying? John Rose style. Gerson therapy. Oh, so much amazing stuff going on right now in the world. Thank you, Katie. Pixie. Grapefruit juice. Yes, I love grapefruit juice. I actually learned um, the pomelo here. There's a red variety of pomelo, and then there's a white variety of pomelo. But the white variety is actually a grapefruit hybrid. It's not a pomelo. I mean, it is a, it's a pomelo grapefruit hybrid. And it's like a little bit more bitter than the pomelo, which is quite sweet, the red one. Man, so good. I actually should make a juice with that. Yes, Pixie. She is a beautiful soul. Who needs coffee when you got grapefruit? That's what I'm saying. Lemon, lime. Dead. Melon juice, I mean, anything. Apple, like fruits, Car even carrot juice. Carrot juice will get you up, man. The honey pomelo, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pomelos make you poop. Yeah, a lot of fiber in there. Good stuff. <laughs> I might end, might end the video here. I gotta make sure to clean this out. It gets all dry. Pomelo or grapefruit? You should be able to find pomelo if you have like an Asian store near you. Thank you, Katie. All right, I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for joining. Um, this will be up on YouTube a bit later if you guys missed it and you want to see more. Yeah. Peace and love, everybody. Make sure to comment on my YouTube videos, please. It helps me out so much and give me a like and subscribe would highly appreciate 80% of the people that watch my YouTube videos are not subscribed. Can you imagine that? Peace out. <laughs>